question number one the curve c has equation y equals x square over 3 plus 4 over root x plus 8 over 3x minus 5 part a find dy upon dx in its simplest form this question carries four marks here they want you to find the first derivative of y with respect to x so before differentiate we can write this function in this form x square over 3 plus this is x to the power half bring it to the numerator 4x to the power minus half plus 8 over 3 write it as x to the power minus 1 so it will be easy for us to differentiate this now you can differentiate this dy upon dx equals derivative of x square is 2x plus 4 n x to the power n minus 1 plus 8 over 3 when you differentiate this n x to the power n minus 1 minus 5 it becomes 0 and then just tidy this up 2 over 3x this will become minus 2 x to the power minus 3 over 2 you minus 8 over 3 x to the power minus 2 that's it that's your answer and this question has four marks you can leave this here this is your final answer now if you don't want to have a negative indices you can put it as 2 over 3x minus 2 over x to the power positive 3 by 2 minus 8 over 3 times 1 upon this is not 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 x square you can leave here this is your answer also. or you can put it in this form part b the point p of 4 comma 3 lies on c find the equation of the normal to c at the point p Write your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 where a, b and c are integers. This question carries 4 marks. So here when you want to find the equation of the normal or tangent, you need to find the slope first. So you use the gradient function or the first derivative of y with respect to x. The slope will be your first derivative of y with respect to x at the given point p of 4 comma 3 so you replace x by the x coordinate here so when you put x is 4 here it's 8 over 3 minus 2 divided by 4 to the power 3 by 2 minus 8 over 3 times 4 square 4 square is 16 3 times 16 is 38 in 48 and simplify these that's the slope of the tangent. So when they say normal, you take the negative reciprocal. It's 9 over 4. 9 over 4. So the negative reciprocal will be minus 4 over 9. So when they ask you to find the equation of the tangent, you use this slope. When they say equation of the normal, which is a common question in P1 and P2, you use the negative reciprocal of uh, the slope. So you can straight away write the equation of the normal as y minus y1, y1 is this, this x1, y1, equals the slope, in this case the negative reciprocal, times x minus x1. And we need to simplify this. Multiply throughout by 9. 9y minus 9 3 is 27 equals minus 4x plus 16 put everything to one side of the equation so 4x plus 9y minus 27 minus 16 37 43 equals 0 this is the equation of the straight line you need to write it in this form you, can, you are not supposed to have any fractions here because the question clearly says the abc the coefficient of x y and the constant terms should be integers so you have to get rid of this fraction question number two f of x equals a x cube plus 6 a plus 8 x square minus a square x where a is a positive constant given f of minus 1 equals 32 part a 
i show that the only possible value for a is 3 and double i using a equals 3 solve the equation f of x equals 0. This question carries 5 marks. You are given f of minus 1 equals 32. That means you need to replace x by minus 1 into this function. So minus 1 whole cube is minus 1. It's minus 8 plus 6a plus 8 times minus 1 whole square which is positive 1. And minus a square times minus 1 becomes plus a square equals 32. So it's basically 8 a square 6a minus a is 5a. 8 minus 32, bring the 32 here, minus 32 is minus 24 equals 0. It's a quadratic equation, solve this quadratic equation. You can write it as 8 plus 8 into a minus 3 equals 0. 8 minus 3 is 5. So a is minus 8, a is 3. But it's stated that a is a positive constant, so a cannot be this. So the only value of a is 3. Now in part double i, they want you to solve this equation f of x equals 0 when a equals 3. So replace a by 3 here now. It becomes 3x cubed. 3 sixes are 18 plus 8. 26x squared minus 3 squared x. 9x equals 0. It's a cubic function without the constant term, so it's easy to factorize. Take x out. It's 3x squared plus 26x minus 9 equals 0. So x equals 0 or this quadratic function equals 0. So here use your calculator, you'll get uh, another two values for x. I get 1 over 3 and minus 9. So 3x values are 0, 1 over 3, minus 9. Part B. Hence find all real solutions of 3y plus 26y to the power 2 over 3 minus 9y to the power 1 over 3 equals 0. Double i. 3 into 9 to the power 3z plus 26 into 9 to the power 2z minus 9 times 9 to the power z equals 0. This question carries 5 marks. In part b, there are two questions. They want you to solve uh, these two functions, this weird looking function. But when you look closely, this looks exactly like this. You see 3, the coefficient, uh, you have 3 here, 26 here, minus 9 here. The only difference is Instead of a cubic equation, this is uh, some other function. But when you compare, when you take y to the power 1 over 3 as x, and you replace y to the power 1 over 3 as x here, this becomes minus 9x. So what's your x square? x square is this whole thing square, which is y to the power 2 upon 3. You have x square here. And then x cube, x cube is y to the power 1 over 3 whole cube, which is just y. Because when you cube this, you have to multiply them. Your laws of indices says you need to multiply them, so it's just y to the power 1. So x cube is y. So basically what I'm trying to say, this fun in instead of solving this equation, we can solve this and we already saw this. We got three solutions in the previous part. So take these three solutions and replace x by y to the power 1 by 3 here. So instead of solving this, I'm going to take it as x equals 0, x equals uh, minus 9, x equals 1 over 3. But in this case, our x is y to the power 1 over 3. That's the only way we can solve this. So replace x by y to the power 1 over 3. If y to the power 1 over 3 equals 0, y will be 0 also.
here y to the power 1 over 3 is minus 9. So y will be cube both side. So this becomes y minus 9 whole cube. It's minus 729. That's another answer. Here, y to the power 1 over 3 is 1 by 3. So y will be cube this. 1 cube is 1, 3 cube is 27. So you got three solutions. That's it. This is how we solve this. Always compare the function, the weird looking function, with the previous part. It's exactly same if you replace y to the power 1 by 3 by x. So this becomes x square, this becomes x cube. So instead of solving this, we solve this and we get three values. Then finally replace x by y to the power 1 by 3 because x was considered as y to the power 1 by 3 in the beginning. And then find y. So you get three solutions. We are going to do this exact same thing for the second one also. When you compare this one and this one, we know for sure x is 9 to the power z. Your x should be 9 to the power z. So x squared is 9 to the power 2z. x cube is 9 to the power 3z. So when you replace all these terms by in terms of x here, you get the same equation like this. So when you solve this, you get three solutions x equals minus 9, x equals 0, x equals 1 over 3. Then replace x by 9 to the power z again. 9 to the power z is minus 9. There is no way you can solve this. You cannot solve this. 9 to the power, no number will give you minus 1. So no solution here. 9 to the power z equals 0. Again, 9 to the power, no real number will give you 0. So here also no solution. And here 9 to the power z is 1 over 3. Solve this carefully using laws of indices. Uh, you can use logarithm also. When you solve this, you can write it as uh, it's a 3 square to the power z is equal to this is 3 square to the power z is equal to 3 to the power minus 1. So 3 to the power 2z equals 3 to the power minus 1. That tells us 2z is minus 1, z is minus 1 over 2. You need to write the solution in terms of z, not x. So we find x, which we got from the previous part, and then replace x by 9 to the power z, and try to solve it. You get only one value, which is minus 1 over 2. Question number 3. You are given a triangle. Figure 1 shows the plan view of a flower bed. The flower bed is in the shape of a triangle ABC with AB is P, AC is Q meters, BC equals 2 square root of 2 meters, angle BAC is 60 degree. Hot A show that P square plus Q square minus PQ equals 8. This question carries 2 marks. In part A, they want you to prove this. You are given a triangle with uh, an included angle on two sides P and Q on the opposite side. When you have a triangle which is not a right angle triangle and you have three sides, one included angle. By included angle I mean the angle between the two known sides. Though it's uh, marked as P and Q, we take it as uh, two known sides because we need to prove this. So if you have all this information, you can apply cosine rule here. The cosine rule says c square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta. Here c, c is the opposite side of the angle. So c square is this equals a and B are two other adjacent sides of the end. So take any one side as A, another one as B. So it's P square plus Q square minus 2PQ cos the angle between the sides cos 60 degree. Cos 60 degree is 1 upon 2. 
and when you square this, it's 2 square is 4, square root 2 square is 2, so 4 twos are 8, you have p square plus q square minus cos 60 is 1 upon 2, 2 2 can be cancelled, and you got this solution p square plus q square minus pq is equal to 8. Given that side AC is 2 meters longer than the side AB, use algebra to find the exact value of p and the exact value of q. This question carries 5 marks. Here in part b you are given AC is 2 meters longer than AB. That means basically q is p plus 2. That's what given. AC is 2 meter longer than AB. So they want you to find the value of P and Q. Substitute it, this one in here. So when you substitute it's uh, P square. Q square replace Q by P plus 2. P plus 2 whole square minus P times P plus 2. Q is P plus 2. Let's see. Expand this. It's P square. When you expand this, it's uh, p square plus 4p plus 4. Here you'll have minus uh, p square minus 2p. Bring the 8 here. Minus 8 is 0. Your p square can be cancelled. You'll have p square. 4p minus 2p is 2p. 4 minus 8 is minus 4 equals 0. So solve this, you get two values. Probably you'll get a positive value and the negative value. Here P is the length of the side, can't be negative. So take the positive value. So I got minus one plus root five. And minus one minus square root five. This is a negative number. P cannot be a negative number. So I'm going to take this as the value of P, meter. This is the value of P. And for Q, you replace P by this value. Your Q will be P plus 2. Which is 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 plus square root of 5. Meet. This is the value of Q. Using the answer in part B and calculate the exact area of the flower bed. This question carries 2 marks. Here in part C, they want you to use the values of P and Q from part B and to find the area of this triangle. You can find the area using this formula. Area is half AB sine theta. The AB are two adjacent sides, so you can put P and Q. Theta will be the angle in between them. P is this. Maybe that's root 5 minus 1 or minus 1 plus root 5. And Q is root 5 plus 1, AB sine 60. So how sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Here A plus B into A minus B. You can apply the algebraic identity A square minus B square. A square minus B square, which is root 3 over 4. Root 5 square is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. So it's just root 3 meter square. Don't change it to decimal because they want you to write the exact value of the area. 